Bernard here, I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to the Citizen channel and one of our City Pass features, a new one again this, this is the epi first episode, there hopefully there'll be many of these entitled Keeping City Safe, yes, yeah, so all the clues perhaps, clues perhaps in the top uh, <laughs> City have had some great, we've had some great goalkeepers haven't we, over, even in my time, even in my uh, 62 years we've had some great goalkeepers during our long history and uh, yeah, this, this isn't going to be just about great goalkeepers. This feature will take a look at some of the very best, of course. Of course he will, but uh, some not quite at the best. And uh, all shades in between, of which, believe me, there's been a few, obviously. Uh, but, uh, Hyde Road, Main Road and the Etihad, let's be honest about it. Even even including the odd record breaker or achiever. So, yeah, we're going to have a look at uh, keeping City safe today. And today... So look at our first goalkeeper. Yeah, we're going to go back way, way back in time. So it's good fun to get some research and find things about these guys. But uh, we're going to go back to, to the 19th century, the end of the 19th century, uh, into the early 19th, into the early 20th century. And we're going to look at the goalkeeper who took charge in between the sticks of a newly formed, yeah, newly formed Manchester City in our very first season being cut called Manchester City. So today we're going to have a look at a guy called Charlie Williams. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification so you know these vlogs are coming out. I do City history and City present stuff, obviously, when there's no games on there. There's a lot of uh, stuff uh, in the history side when there are games on there's a lot more stuff uh, city present but I uh, hope you enjoy them anyway and please if you check the playlist there's loads of stuff on there you'll see some film and TV stuff as well if that's of any interest or you know somebody might be interested please uh, get them to have a look at that that'll be fantastic and on the screen you'll see links to my Facebook and Twitter I do check every couple of days and follow and friend everyone back and I do have a little website where I, where I sell uh, DVDs, uh, movie posters uh, and there will be some city memorabilia going on there at some stage uh, in the future or city stuff in general but uh, you know, Sam in the early days of that it's uh, not, not enough hours in the day unfortunately I'd rather do these little little uh, things on city than uh, look at my website to be honest with you which is a bit naughty but hey there you go anyway if you can check out moviegamenostalgia.com that'd be most appreciated all comments very welcome i don't think any of you will remember this uh, this uh, goalkeeper uh, i remember another charlie williams but more in that in a moment but uh any comments you've, you've got to make and please uh, if you don't have time for a comment or you do have a comment just leave us a thumbs up as well it's nice to get views but it's nice to get thumbs up yeah, Charlie Williams, there you go. I mean, yeah, I mentioned Charlie. If, you, if you'd said to me a couple of days ago, Charlie Williams, I wouldn't necessarily thought about the goalkeeper for Manchester City. I probably would have thought of uh, the famous uh, black comedian in 1970s, a 1970s comedian called Charlie Williams, who people of my age will remember from the comedians and various uh, various places. And he even went on to host one of my favourite ever quiz shows at the time, The Golden Shot. And please, please don't mention Bernie the Bolt. Please don't, don't mention that. But uh, yeah, Charlie Williams. Williams, uh, he was ironically, he was a professional footballer as well before he turned to a comedian. So there you go, he played uh, professional football for Doncaster Rovers. So again, you find these things out. I did uh, say I knew a little bit about Charlie Williams, but I never, I never knew he'd played professional football. So I started looking, and obviously, yeah, the golden shot. Yeah, I mean, he was, a, he was a lovely bloke, but he wasn't, he wasn't a nat. Let's just say he wasn't a natural at it. I mean, not like Bob Monkhouse was, but then again, not many people were. I think Norman Vaughan, he's another one who took on the golden shot. He, he struggled as well, so he was a hard act to follow, Bob Monkhouse. But yes, anyway, enough of that Charlie Williams. We're not talking about that Charlie Williams. Uh, <laughs> we're about a Charlie Williams who in, we are, we're interested in was, uh, was to achieve a first in goalkeeper terms as well. The very first thing uh, this guy did, a very, very clever, very, very important and something that went down in history. And in the record books, uh, yeah, Charles Albert Williams, to give him his full name, was born the 19th of November, my, my son's birth date, but uh, 19th, uh, 1873 in Welling, Kent. Uh, he started his goalkeeping career at Arsenal, so Royal, I think they're called Royal Arsenal or Ar Woolwich Arsenal at the time in 1891. Uh, he wasn't particularly tall for a keeper at uh, five foot eleven, uh, and he wasn't particularly that good at keeping the ball out of the net for Arsenal at the time either. In, in, in the 23 games he, he played for Arsenal, he included a, a six nil and a five nil. Things would get worse, uh, but, but uh, yeah, so losses to Newcastle and Liverpool, six nil to, to Newcastle and five nil to Liverpool, but. Uh, yeah, it wasn't exactly it wasn't exactly um, inspiring the the management at Arsenal, and the writing was on the wall. 
1894 when Arsenal signed a new keeper called Harry Storer. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, there's, you never know. He might, it might be all right, this guy, might he? Yeah, I saw City saw something in him because uh, William has found himself joining the newly formed, the newly formed Manchester City. Obviously, then uh, currently in the second division then of the of the football league for the start of the 1894-95 season, of course, that uh, will be played at Hyde Road. Uh, there was never a dull moment uh, with Mr. Chet, like his pre, like the guy we talked about before in the seventies. Was never a dull moment with this Charlie Williams either. Apparently, his eccentricities, a bit like Bruce Grobble, if any of you guys know Bruce Grobble over the old time, bit bit of a bit of a Jack the Lad had a bit of fun as well, and obviously the fans fans appreciate that, even if sometimes you do let uh, six, seven, eight, whatever goals in, you know. So there you go. But uh, he did soon win over the City fans who uh, did enjoy his not so. Always straightforward goalkeeping antics between the sticks. Uh, but uh, this, where often, as I said, this erratic, erratic keeper actually, you know, it's like any, like any player. If you keep, if you keep the fans entertained and, and play up to the fans, they let you off. They sort of forget certain things and let you off with things, don't they? Uh, he played twenty three of the thirty games in that very first season, eighteen ninety four ninety five, and made his debut in a four one loss at Berry. So he let four goals in on his debut. Not so great, obviously, but. Uh, not too bad. That was September the 1st, 1894. He made his City debut at Hyde Road on September 3rd, 1894 in a 1-1 draw in front of just just 2,500 fans that day. But uh, yes, we only let one in, so that was an improvement, wasn't it? He kept his first clean sheet. It took him 11 games to get to his first clean sheet and uh, he'd only have three clean sheets that season. But... Uh, his lowest point, as I said, he'd let five in and six in for Arsenal. His lowest point was letting eight goals on Boxing Day. Perhaps he was a bit hungover from Christmas Day, I'm not too sure. Away at Burton Wanderers. Yes, the mighty, mighty Burton Wanderers, an 8-0 defeat. Uh, but he was also that season in goal for City's record defeat. That's how it was with City. They could get slaughtered one week and then absolutely hammer someone the, the following week. That's how it was in those days. And he was certainly in goal for City's record win. He did let three in, but uh, eight, it marks the second 1895 he beat Lincoln City 11-3 so he was in goal for that one on to his second season 1895-96 it'd be a good season for City yeah uh, we actually finished second uh, to to Liverpool uh, and Williams played in every game including the test matches and what in those days he didn't automatically get promoted to the first division so Liverpool and ourselves had to play test matches like, like playoffs uh, to get into the first division, you played the bottom, the bottom teams from the first division in, in, in a playoff sort of competition. Unfortunately, City City lost out in this one, so we would stay in the second division. So, uh, but it wasn't a bad season overall. And in the 34 games, 34 league games, he kept 11 clean sheets, which was a, a big improvement, of course, on the previous season. But again, yeah, he did did have a he did let in another eight. Yeah, we got beat by Small Heath uh, in the in the Test match, the playoff game. Uh, it, we got beat eight nil. But uh, yeah, I think I think with the sort of writing was on the wall by that by then we'd uh, we'd upset the fans and uh, we upset the players. I think because we upset the fans by the first game in these uh, playoffs, we we increased the prices. So. The City fans weren't very happy about that and they didn't turn up after that and I think it must have affected the players as well. But hey, there you go. It was overall a good season. Unfortunately, we just didn't get back in the first division. In 1896-97, he played in City's very first FA Cup match. Yeah, we should have been in it the year before, but we've... we've we forgot to send some forms in or something. We applied to go in it and then messed up the paperwork or something. But obviously in 1896-97, we played in our first ever, ever FA Cup match. Uh, a 6-0 loss to Preston, so <laughs> not, not great. Uh, he played in, 30, in all 30 league games that season with six clean sheets. But at least uh, no eight goalers this time. Just just obviously that uh, 6-0 loss to Preston in the FA Cup. But there you go. 1897-1898 received the honour of... Uh, Big honour at the time, yeah. I mean, uh, they used to have these football league games where a football league would play against an, another league, like the Scottish League or the Irish League, etc. Uh, and you received the honour of playing uh, for the football league against the Irish League at High Row in front of a good, good crowd, 12,000 there that day. Uh, and it was an 8-1 game. Uh, fortunately, uh, it wasn't Williams that let the eight in as the English, uh, as the English football league beat the Irish football league eight one. So, uh, fortunately, he wasn't on the end of an of an eight goal drubbing in that one. But uh, it was a big honour to do that. Uh, City had an okay season. We, they finished third. Uh, Williams played in twenty three of the thirty league games, two FA Cup games, 
and got a, again a, a very commendable eleven clean sheets. And again, didn't concede, didn't concede eight goals, so he did very, very well. Eighteen ninety eight, ninety nine, near, nearing what the uh, change of the centuries, aren't we? We saw the end of playoff matches. He didn't have these playoffs then. It was automatic promotion and relegation. And we were quite thankful because we finished top. But yeah, we had a great season. Finished top, which led to automatic promotion, of course. Uh, for the first time in our history, we were back in the first... Or back in the first division. Not back in the first division. We were in the first division. Uh, and Williams, again, had missed just one game that season. Doing a good job. He kept 13 clean sheets. So one of his better seasons in the uh, title winning promotion winning season. Uh, onto the season after the first consolidation, the first one in the first division, he was never present in the 1899-1900 debut season for City in that top division, and we finished a commendable seventh. Yeah, not not bad considering we'd never been there before. Uh, he kept eleven clean sheets, which was good, but it was during this season that he he actually went down in the record books. So there you go, not not particularly for his goalkeeping, but on 14th of April 1900, there we go, 14th of April 1900 at uh, Roca Park, just a couple of years old then I think it was built in 1898 I think Roca Park City went down we lost unfortunately 3-1 to Sunderland on the 14th of April uh, but Mr Williams became the first very first ever keeper uh, to score a goal yeah when when the wing caught a long goal kick and the Sunderland goalkeeper unfortunately fumbled it into the net so he actually scored a goal for City and became on records the very first uh, in the English league the organised competitive English leagues the very first uh, goalkeeper to score score a goal which was uh, absolutely fantastic so there you go you can't take that away from him that's that's one of his uh, that's one of his uh, claims to fame or uh, that's not bad that as as a as a goalkeeper at times myself uh, I did actually score a goal similar with the wind, wind assisted goal in a, in a, a game on, on a parking stop or in a league game obviously we were not to the levels of this guy obviously but uh, so uh, yeah it's great it's great to score a goal it's nice nice saving him but uh, to score a goal it's fantastic so I bet he was well chuffed with that uh, City though didn't quite match the exploits of the first season in Division 1 in the second uh, Williams only missed one game and despite keeping 10 clean sheets City dropped from 6 the previous season their first season in the first division to 11th and uh, not quite 8 uh, but he let in 7 goals at uh, against Aston Villa in a 7-1 defeat in early December 1900 so that that wasn't great so the signs were there that you know obviously it wasn't quite as good for City but 1901-2 came and sadly saw City this sadly saw City relegated again back unfortunately into the second division and possibly a little bit unfairly Charlie Williams took took a lot of the blame for this took a lot of the stick for this uh, and he played his last game as number one on January the 4th 1902 in a 3-0 home defeat against Sunderland uh, he kept two clean sheets in his 15 games but uh, those 15 games they'd lost 10 and I'm afraid uh, Charlie got a lot of bit of stick I mean they, don't, they forgot the goal he scored the previous previous time and previous seasons I mean absolutely ridiculous I mean shocking but uh, yeah um, City actually bought, brought in another keeper and got rid and returned Charlie Williams uh, head 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 down uh, probably returned to London at the end of the season without getting another game after that January game uh, and he returned to Spurs uh, and he also had um, I don't think he played many games for Spurs but he also had spells as a keeper at Norwich and Brentford as well he went on to club management and also managed Denmark. Here you go. He did very well as a manager, actually. He managed Denmark to a silver medal in the 1908 Olympics. Uh, of course, they were beaten by Great Britain. There you go. 1908. So, uh, yeah, he, he went into club management. He went on to manage. He got picked. A, a friend picked him up and said to come over to Brazil. Uh, I think he became the first professional manager of the Brazilian, well, well, famous team, Fluminense, Fluminense is, that how, is that how you pronounce it? Fluminense in, in Brazil and he did actually manage some other clubs there as well as managing also in France's Holland but uh, France and Holland but uh, yeah he did okay as a manager did okay um yeah Charlie Williams and he played in total for City he played 232 games between 1894 and just squeaked into 1902 and of course scored one goal so there's not many goalkeepers that can make that claim to fame of those games, he won 110, so just under half. We drew 43 and we lost 79, so not not bad. Any, any, anything in a plus is always going to be good, isn't it? He sadly passed away 
on the 29th of July 1952 in, in his in his home then at the end of in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil so he'd uh, hey, not had a bad life had he when he moved out there after his uh, careers had finished etc Charlie Williams hope you enjoyed that uh, anyway this this I say I, I know a lot more about Charlie now than I did before not just the 1970s one I know a lot more about uh, this gentleman fantastic and uh, as I say uh, um, yeah, not a bad achievement, was it? The first ever goalkeeper to actually score a goal for his team from, from a goal kick. So that's, that wasn't too bad. So we enjoyed that anyway. So join me again soon for another uh, Keeping City Safe episode where we look back on the names that have played between the sticks for our great club. Some some great, some some not so great, and many in between. Anyway, thanks for watching. All you're going to do the rest of the day, have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we'll meet here again on the Citizen Channel, or perhaps have a flit across, have a look at my film and TV channel. I only ask one thing, stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching.